What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to Eric's house. This is Eric. And today we're going to check out the box office results for July 4th weekend. There weren't a whole lot of brand new movies that interested me this weekend. And I actually didn't go to see any of them. I went to go see Black Phone, which I reviewed. It was in its second week. Really enjoyed the movie. And I have the review on the channel. Check that out if you're interested. The only other really big movie that came out was Minions. And I'm not gonna lie, like I haven't, I don't know anything about Minions. I never saw the first movie, or I, I think this is a sequel, right? I don't even tell me what that shows you what I know. I know it's a big brand and everything, a big IP, but nothing that I've ever seen. For all I know, I would really like it, but it's nothing that has ever interested me. But Minions grosses a hundred seven million dollars and has already has already made more money than Lightyear has in its entire theatrical run. And it's in its third weekend. So that just tells you how much of a disaster Disney's Lightyear was. It has made 105 million and it's been out for three plus weeks. Minions made 107 million weekend number one. That is absolutely phenomenal for Universal. Top Gun Maverick continues in its sixth week to be number two at the box office making 25 million that is just insane absolutely insane i don't even know what to say about top gun maverick other than wow and the only reason i haven't seen it you're probably like dude why haven't you seen it and reviewed it yet it's because well I feel like I have plenty of time because it ain't going nowhere. It's not leaving the theaters and I still want to watch Top Gun. So I've seen Top Gun, obviously, but I haven't. I want to refresh myself on it. So I'm planning to watch Top Gun tonight, tonight, and then I will go see Top Gun Maverick this week because I don't want to risk it. it. It will eventually leave theaters, but no time soon. When you're kicking ass like this, I mean, it's still in 3,800 plus theaters right now. So it is just absolutely kicking ass in theaters top gun maverick has already made over a billion dollars worldwide and you gotta you gotta love the fact that these top two movies here top gun and minions from what i know i haven't seen them but from what i'm told and all the reviews that i've watched and everything there's no nonsense in these movies these are just made to be great films telling a great story and they're made for the audience that is going to see them such as kids for minions and such as just normal adults for Top Gun who want to see something uh, something awesome and get some escapism. And that's what Top Gun Maverick appears to offer. Not saying I'll love it. I might not. I might have problems with it. But as far as that goes, it seems that there's no ridiculous nonsense in this movie. Can't say the same for Lightyear. I mean, I think that the reason Lightyear is failing so bad is not one thing. You can't say, oh, because there's a lesbian kiss. That didn't ruin the movie. I mean, that's one thing that's a, a strange decision by Disney to put that in a kid's movie and it's going to cause a bunch of controversy and that's exactly what happened. And a lot of people were like, I'm not going to see this. I'm not taking my kids to see that because of that particular fact. They saw it reported on the news or something on Fox News or Newsmax that they watch and it talked about that and they're like, screw this. I'm not going to see it. Well, that's not the only problem. Also, the entire story is stupid. It's dumb. It's not the movie that Andy watched. Pure and simple. It's a much, much, they're trying to be all deep and, 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 and put all these messages in the movie. And it's not a space adventure movie that it, that was definitely the movie that Andy saw. And this clearly is not even, you can't even try to pass it off as a movie that might have come out in 1995. It is a 2022 Disney message infested uh, identity politics infested movie. That's what it is. And there were some things I liked about it. I didn't hate it, but... It's obvious why it's failing. You think you're just going to throw a Buzz Lightyear movie out there and then all the Toy Story fans are going to flock to the theaters. I was one of the few that was dumb enough to do so and was definitely disappointed. The movie wasn't even funny. It wasn't even funny, so it's not even going to get good word of mouth. You're not even going to get any word of mouth out of it. Disney doesn't know what they're doing. I, I don't know. Like, Disney is such a powerful entity, which at one time I knew exactly what they were doing. And they used to put out just amazing film after amazing film. Right now, they're just living off that. They're living off their past success. And I don't know how long that's going to take them. Sooner or later, they're going to have to start changing the, their ways. 
no doubt about it. But anyway, uh, that being said, you have Elvis at number three. I saw Elvis. I rather enjoyed it. I think it's going to get pretty good reviews. It made $18 million in its second weekend, uh, 66 million total gross at this point in the united states you have jurassic world dominion coming in at number four still hanging in there made 16 million i mean jurassic park dominion in its fourth week is still kicking light years ass and the black phone a horror film is still kicking light years ass by making double what it made with 12 million dollars i know black phone was in its second week and light year was in its third but still you have a you know relatively low budget horror movie kicking Disney's big time movie that was supposed to make all this money and it's just insane and it's kicking its ass. Uh, Mr. Malcolm's List in its first week also came out and made one hundred and ten thousand dollars, so not too bad there. Everything everywhere all at once still hanging in there and Doctor Strange is still hanging in there. Both of those movies have been out for a long long time, so they don't have too many too many weeks left in theaters they're only in a handful of theaters at this point anyway so okay so there you have it i mean that's the top really uh, this week it's kind of a top six race and light years just i mean I, it's about to fall off a cliff it's about to fall off a cliff it's had some really rough drops over its first three weeks out and it's just it's a bomb it's an absolute box office bomb if you say no it's not it's gonna lose money for disney i mean i believe it's gonna lose money for disney and they'll be lucky, lucky if they break even. I mean, it's hard to know exactly because you're still selling some merchandise, but I don't think it's like the merchandise is selling that well. I don't see the DVD Blu-ray sales going through the roof. I don't see, especially because it's going to be on Disney Plus. I don't even know if it's going to come out <laughs> anytime soon on, on Blu-ray. So who knows? Lightyear does not have, it has a very grim future. I think it, we'll all forget that movie existed in a year or two and, uh, yeah, uh, other than that, uh, still some movies hanging in there. It's not like The Hedgehog 2 is still in a few theaters. And uh, other than that, look at all these movies. Just a lot of movies are, are out there in select theaters making a little bit of cash. But, you know, as far as the top few movies, I think the most impressive thing is that Minions has already made more than Lightyear has in its entire theatrical run. I think that's what we have to take away from this week's box office breakdown. Minions is kicking ass. Top Gun is kicking ass. And Elvis, we'll see. Elvis, I think uh, the filmmakers, Warner Brothers, probably wanted it to do a little better than it's doing. But we'll see. It, it might have some legs. And a decent second week, minus 41%. I mean, it's not very good, but... I, I, it's about what I expected, to be honest. I think it could have been a lot worse. Top Gun Maverick continues to have just very small drops. And Lightyear, 65% drop. That is horrific. Absolutely terrible. It is, it's, it's, it's not going to make it. It's not going to make it. Uh, you guys have a great day. Hit that thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Let me know what you think in that comment section down below. And we'll talk to you all next time.